Jason Wall, wallwoodworks.com, and I'm here in my shop today with a print that I'm gonna be cutting into a puzzle. Um, I wanna show you what my process is and what I go through with every single puzzle. So on that note, before we get started, uh, just a quick reminder, if you wish to be included into the monthly puzzle giveaway, please go to the website, register there. Uh, I'm getting requests from Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, and as well as Twitter. But just to keep it in one spot, go to the website, register there. That way, when we draw the names, you'll be included. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the print for a minute. First and foremost, uh, you notice that the print is not square. This puzzle is not square at all. It's actually two squares that I merged together. Um, and then on top of that, the edges, the irregular edges. I mean, you could see there's no rhyme or reason to what the edge is. And this goes really well with my cutting style. And it adds to the confusion because most people that are putting a puzzle together when they see, okay, well, what are you gonna start with first? We're gonna put the edges together. Well, guess what? All the edges in my puzzles look like the regular pieces, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so the page flip, that that was uh, that was a creative thing that I put in with, with the two prints because I wanted to use them both. Uh, both the images are awesome, I just couldn't pick. So uh, when, when the customer sent me the images, I said, you know what, I'm gonna figure out a way to use them both. Um, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna we're gonna section this up and then we're gonna start cutting some pieces. Okay, so I'm at my saw and uh, I've sectioned the puzzle off already and um, I'm getting ready to cut, cut a couple more pieces. I've cut some, but I just wanna give you an idea of what the actual process is. So here we go. So there's no rhyme or reason as to how I cut these pieces. It's all random. There's no template. I don't use any sort of uh, guide when I'm doing when I'm doing these puzzles. It's all freehand. So I mean, every single puzzle is different, and uh, you know, I mean, the pieces they're. It, it, what I was saying earlier is that they, they're designed to look like end pieces. Well, if you look, let's see if I could show you here. If you look at this, this could be an end piece. Well, in fact, that's a, that's a piece that goes in one of the center points. So, I mean, if you look, the edge is curved, but that's gonna go in a center spot. I mean, a lot of them are like that. So here's another example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward, or excuse me, I'm going to uh, put it on fast mo so you don't have to see me cut the whole thing in slow mo. And here we have it, the completed puzzle. Uh, I still need to count the pieces. I still need to sign my signature piece, which is a butterfly. Um, I cut this into every personalized puzzle. Uh, I also decided to do some uh, drop, some cutouts, excuse me, uh, of the person's name, JS, that's gonna be receiving this puzzle. So there you have it, one puzzle cut. The only things left to do are take it apart, Count the number of pieces, sign the signature piece, and package it up and send it out. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them here on YouTube, or if you'd like, you could send me a message directly on wallwoodworks.com. Thanks for watching.